we can detect intelligent design using just the methods of science because we are concluding design from observing physical objects. If you saw a watch in a field, you would know it was designed, be not because uh, somebody revealed it to you, but you'd see the gears and you'd see the mechanism all interacting one with the other. Additionally, we know from much observation that the only time we see such mechanisms as a watch or other intricate uh, things, that they are the product of intelligence because random processes would never put together such uh, well-adjusted parts uh, to perform the function of a, of a watch or whatever. Um, many people say that science can only study matter and energy. That's not true. Uh, it turns out that science uses its minds, its collective minds, all the time. When people design an experiment to explore a question, when scientists propose a hypothesis that might, uh, that might uh, describe some parts of nature, they're using their intelligence. They're not just, uh, they're not just uh, describing what is going on. They're trying to find reasons. They're trying to find patterns in nature. And one pattern we find all the time is uh, the, that when a mind uh, uh, is at work, oftentimes it arranges things uh, for a purpose because minds have purposes and so they can manipulate physical objects in order to put things together to help realize their purposes. And science can study that because we have minds of our own. Uh, we see minds in action in our physical world and we, science can study the physical arrangements that have been produced. So it's not true that science studies only matter and energy. Uh, you have to use your intelligence to probe nature. And because of that, we easily recognize the effects of intelligence.